This is so nice. <sighs> Dang, you like rented this out for us? <laughs> yeah, baby. Mm. All for you. Mm. You like what you see? Yeah, it's real nice. I'm lucky you even came. What? I didn't know you was gonna respond to my DM. Boy, when I saw you had that verified check, I knew you had a check. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something, so. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Ooh. That's how I get the waiter attention. Really? Uh huh. Uh. Hi, welcome to Only Rich Niggas Eat here. Uh, can I start you guys off with some waters? Yeah, I'll take a water. Uh, would you like that sparkling or still? Still. And for the gentleman? Uh, let me get my usual. Okay, two black bottles of Bel Air coming right up. <laughs> and don't forget to do say. Okay. Shaking, not stirring. Oh, you trying to get lit, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. You are so, like, you know, I thought you was hood, but you real sophisticated. No, oh, I'm like a hood sophisticated guy. You know I own this, right? This all yours? Mm-hmm. It's all mine. What? Ah, oh, now that makes sense why we all private and stuff in our mm. own little room. <laughs> wow. Mm. You hungry, right? Mm-hmm. You can get whatever you want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have the waters coming right up, uh, but were you guys ready to order? Uh-huh. Yeah, um, can I get two T-bone vegan steaks? Some macaroni and cheese, some asparagus, because I'm trying to watch my figure. Dang, girl. You got an appetite on you. Can I get some else? Go ahead. And some mashed potatoes. Uh, would you like that vegan style? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And for you? And for me, can I get a green leaf salad or the green herbal tea on the side? Okay. All right. Coming Thank right you. up. Wait, you on a diet or something? And you know I got to stay in shape, you know? Training about to come. What you training for? You didn't know I was an NBA player? What? Yeah. You in the league? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm hmm So, uh, after this, you trying to go back to my house and uh, watch a little movie? Yeah. We can watch some TV. Okay, okay. We can watch some. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ready? Let's go. Wow. <laughs> This is so nice. I mean, this is your place? Yeah, that's all me. You read books? Sometimes. <laughs> Usually that's decoration, but. I mean, wow. <laughs> Couch comfy? Yeah, it's real comfy. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna watch this movie? The hell with the movie. Mm. Hey girl, hey! Guess what? I met me a baller. Literally, baller. NBA. <laughs> girl, yes, he is paid, paid. We went out to eat last night. I mean, he rented out the entire restaurant for me. Matter of fact, he owns the restaurant. And we went to his house. He live in a big old mansion. Like you have to go to the gate, say his name just to get in. So anyway, girl, we was on the couch getting on and uh-uh, he ain't use no condom. Guess what else? I was ovulating, so you know what that means. Yep, 22 hours pregnant with his baby. <laughs> you know it. We got us a bala baby on the way. He wanna see me tonight or whatever. Um, but he's talking about come to his homeboy house cause his house getting renovated cause he put a sauna in his room. He said when it's done, we can like get in it or whatever. You so stupid. I asked if he got like another teammate or something to talk to you. You know I'ma put you on so we can both have a ball of baby. Girl, I ain't seen you. Bye, let me go ahead and get ready. Bye. Crazy. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. <laughs> this your homeboy pair, right? Uh, yeah. I know it's a little small and everything, but he a little broke. <laughs> the living room and the kitchen in the same spot. I we know. can eat at the goddamn um, couch. That's what I said. And he needs to clean up. It's nasty. Mm, it's 
pitiful. Right. But uh, don't worry, baby. You know my place getting renovated. You know. Mm. <laughs> you know I got that three-story mansion waiting on me. I already know. <laughs> you want something to drink? Oh hell no. You good? I, I'm perfectly fine. I know you are. Hmm. <laughs> perfectly fine. Mm. Told him to clean up, but it's alright. <clears throat> He ain't got no AC. Girl, sit down. Is he clean? <sighs> Come sit down. Uh, <laughs> mm. back, girl. I know. What his dress is it? I mean, he ain't got no furniture. He got his own luggage right there. It's the luggage is his, his dresser. And do he clean up the dishes? It's just on the... What, is that a pot of grease? I know he don't still do a pot of grease in there. That is just nasty. Mm. And he ain't got no AC. That's what, 1991? Now that's like 1970 AC unit where you press the, that's the remote to the damn AC. Girl. Is that a remote? Yes, it's a damn remote. Boy, you, I cannot believe you have me up in here. Would you stop talking about my man's crib? Hey. I quit, I quit. It's just just for chill and relax. Just chill. Hey, stop worrying about everything. How you everything. got these chairs with no tables? I mean, he got a broom and he don't sweep. He got a single chair, no table. He got an Xbox, just the box. Literally, the box, the cardboard box. Why are you talking about my mans like this, all right? Because I don't know why we came here. Because I told you, my place can't re renovate it. And you can't get like a hotel or nothing? Six stars? I tried to get that, but it was all sold out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I would have bought the whole hotel. Girl, I'll buy the whole world for you. Mm -hmm. You already know how I do, baby. Damn. Okay. Soon the sauna get done in my room, mm -hmm. we can get hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, skip all that. <laughs> yeah. I got a surprise for you. Uh, ready? What you got? <laughs> a car? Nah, nah, not quite. Some shoes? Nah, nah. You got me some diamonds? Girl, shut your ass. What you got me? I got a key for you. A key to what? You just say you ain't even no car. <laughs> Two things. What? My heart mm. and my crib. Hold on. You tell me I'm gonna be in the mansion. Whenever I wanna be in the mansion. Whenever you want to. But what about the access to the gate? Cause that you you know the concierge, he be tripping. <laughs> you were already on the list. Permanently. Permanently. You know what? I got a permanent surprise for you too. I'm sure don't tell me surprise then, girl. I'm 22. I was pregnant. And guess what? That's so perfect that I'm going to have a key because I can come in, set up the baby. Hold, 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 hold the, hold the, hold the hell up. You 22. I was pregnant. With who? Yo, baby. My baby? How the hell you know you pregnant already? Did we or did we not use protection last night? Not. It was raw and raw. I don't give a damn if we didn't use protection. How do you know you're pregnant? Because I know my body. At 10.06 PST specific time, I was ovulating. And what time we had sex? At 10.06 PST, which is specific time too, the juices was flowing. I don't give a damn if it's Pacific time or LA time. I don't give a damn. I know I ain't the daddy. Pacific time <laughs> is LA time, nigga. I don't care. Nigga, I got something to tell you then, because you think you pretty? <laughs> What's so funny? You about to laugh at this one. What's so funny, Mr. Davis? <laughs> Mr. NBA player? Ah, I knew you was going to do this. You little bone digging mother... I'm broke. Yep. Broke? Uh, this is the real me. Oh. Uh, exactly. You broke. Yep. Yeah. All this you seeing right here, all of this you talking about, dirty and all that, and you ain't got no central air, your book bag still right there, you're talking about my dishes, and you're talking about my dirty chicken grease, <laughs> that's mine. But guess what? I'm broke too, and I ain't got no hair, no weave, I still got the braids, you still can see my braids, let me tell you something. You need to give me $600 for the abortion, because ain't no way in hell two broke people gonna be able to take care of a baby. Man, skip plan A. How much plan B cost? I ain't about to no $600. I go to CVS, give me $75 for the plan B. $75? I ain't got $75 either. Uh-huh. Do you see my hair? 
Yeah. But then let me ask you a question. So mm -hmm. we went in the restaurant and you said you rented it all out and that this is yours, this is mine, baby. This is mine, this is mine. And then when you talking about that you own the restaurant, then we went to this big ass crib. I'm somehow nice, you able to plop the lights on and off and then I gave you my body. Who the hell house was that? Cause you was supposed to be Daryl Jones. Alright, first of all, that's not my name. My name is Demondre Jones. Daryl Jones is my cousin. I always go to the restaurant with him, so I know everybody. So I take, get the usual. And I already knew girls like NBA players, so I said it, okay? And I thought you was a gold digger, and you was a gold digger. So, hey, that's where we at, and this was where we at. Oh, I may be a gold digger, but you a broke nigga. You know what? I gotta get rid of this baby. I hey, you damn skippy. <laughs> you can get your gold digging ass on my crib. Oh, I'm about to go. Yep, yep, I'm about yep, to go. Yep. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I need to leave my clothes here because ain't no telling what nasty stuff that's been up in here. Yo, nasty. Give a hell cut. Hey, 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 I don't give a damn what you say. I don't give a damn what you say. And I'ma lay my ass on my dirty ass couch too. Get your gold digging ass on my crib, man. Does it? What's good, bro? Girl! Another one bite the dust again, man. Yep. She failed the test. Just like the other ones, bro. Always fail the broke nigga test. He is broke! He drink me! You already know I took her to a fine restaurant. No, he ain't in the NBA. That's his cousin. And I brought her to a little cheap Airbnb. <laughs> and it's perfect, bro, because they left all these stuff here and it's still dirty. <laughs> I know, right? Girl, I went in this homeboy house. It was just nasty. It was nasty. Clothes was everywhere. <laughs> the couch was in the kitchen. Man, I had unprotected sex with her. Oof. 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 Broke. That's the morning sickness and the brokenness. But it's all good, though. Because you know why? She gonna get rid of it because she think I'm broke. He can't even pay for the abortion. Oh, plan B. And half the time, bro, these girls be lying anyway, so I don't even think she pray. So I'm good. I'm all the way good. I want to get rid of it so bad, but my conscience won't let me. But how two broke people gonna take care of a baby, huh? I gotta figure this out. All right, buddy. I'll hit you back up if I got some more news. Yeah. Okay, bye. What am I do? I'm 23 hours pregnant. I got like 6,200 left. Or more, I probably didn't calculate that right. <laughs> so, which package would you like? We have the Elite package here, which includes a fertile stimulant, his address, and a date with hair and makeup. Huh, how much is that? Well, oh, if you have to ask, then you probably can afford it. It's a thousand dollars, honey. A thousand? I don't have that type of money, which is why I need a baller now. Well, here's our Make-A-Wish package. Um, it's only $25. It includes his address, but nothing else. And for 10 extra dollars, we can tell you when he comes outside. I have $35 right now either. Honey, who gave you my number? <clears throat> oh, sorry, one second, I'm with the client. Okay. Sweetie, um, that's really the best I can do for you. I don't have $35 right now. <sighs> Obviously, she doesn't have $35. You know what? I use my current card because I'm <clears throat> hormonal right now. I'm pregnant. I'm 31 days pregnant, okay? And I know what it feels like to be broke. Yes, I'll tell you later. Thank you. <laughs> now. We'll send you an email with all the information. Okay? All set? Hey, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia, your baller is a fraud. What? Mm -hmm. Fraud? Oh, wait a minute. I take my reputation very seriously. Check the reviews. Is it recording? <laughs> okay. I would like to thank Get a Incorporated for helping me quit my job as a stripper 
and landed me as a stay-at-home mom for this in the field pool player. We had a baby together and I make $20,000 a month in child support. All of this is mine. <laughs> Thank you, get a baller. You tell them, girl. Okay, I believe you. I'm gonna let y'all two handle that. Thank you. Thanks again. All right, look out for that email. I don't want a refund. You didn't hook me up with Daryl Jones. You hooked me up with his broke ass cousin. What are you talking about? I hooked you up with Daryl Jones. No, you hooked me up with his broke ass cousin, Demontre Jones, and I paid for the elite package. What the hell is Demontre Jones? And I gave you a 50% discount. That's $500. It's $1,000. <clears throat> so Still, I hooked you up with Daryl Jones. No, you hooked me up with his broke ass cousin. You need to do your research. I've done extensive research. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, you didn't. Oh, yes, 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 it was. Oh, no, no, no. Hell no, it's not. What are you talking about? I went to his house. It was so nasty. The living room and the kitchen was in the same thing. He had the couch in the living room. He had no kitchen table. He had an old ass air conditioner. And when he took his head off, Daryl Jones already saw you. It ain't the right one. All right, well, I go to work tonight and wait. You ain't going nowhere looking like this. What? Did you not read the fine print? What? Do you have a scary old pocket? Cause you never leave the house without your makeup off. You keep mascara in your pocket even when you go into the market. Cause you never know who's watching you. Who? I'm ready. Be ready at five thirty. Great. I'm looking completely different, don't worry. Well, make sure you shower. I'm a CNA, okay? I'm trying some diapers. Smell like it. Oh, I'm trying to take my whole business down. That's why I don't work with friends. Where's my Fabrice? Joe Jones, right? You know my name. You acting stupid. So, I checked your calendar and you're free tonight, right? I'm free. But you gonna hook me up with a good one this time? Yeah, man, I got you. Cause last time she was crazy as hell. What she do? You talking about that girl with the blonde wig? I'm talking about some cheap twenty-two hours pregnant. How the hell are you gonna be twenty-two hours pregnant? I don't know, but the girl today she looks nothing like that. She's just her type. You for real? Yeah, for real. I got you. She calm as Kenya. Yes. She mocha latte. Mm -hmm. She know I love mocha latte. I yeah. uh, Stop! Don't play with me. I got you. I got you. Hi. Okay. You know, just for you looking out for me, uh -huh. I'm gonna give you a little bonus. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dale Jones. The hell? Look, y'all got money. I don't care. Are you sure? I'm sure, sure. Okay? How do you look? You look great. Okay. But a few things. Do not mention my name at all. Okay? Duh. And don't mention the last day, okay? I ain't gonna mention it. Alright, you good. Okay, girl. Okay. say I look like Sierra. Mm. That ain't it. Um, well, I'm the executive director over the National Basketball Association. <laughs> Dang, okay. So I've seen you around a couple of times. Okay, okay. Um, I've been watching your games. I see your stats. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you like what you watch? You're right. I'm you right. could do a little better with your jump shot. Damn. Okay. Seriously, uh -huh. you know? I'm a little rusty, but uh, we need to have a little one-on-one -on -one practice then. Mm -hmm. 
It's your house, right? What's the F? Mm. You thirsty? Yeah, I can have something to drink. <laughs> Hi, young lady that I've obviously never seen before in my life. <laughs> um, welcome to Only Rich Niggas Eat Here. Can I start you off with something to drink? Um, uh, not sparkling. Right. Regular water. Okay. And uh, you want the... the the bit. Nah, just give me um, a salad. Oh, salad sounds great. <laughs> and for the gentleman? Let me get my yogurt. Okay, two black bottles of beer later, coming right up. You already know. Mm -hmm. Mr. Darrell, you own this fine establishment? Oh, oh, this is mine, baby. Really? <laughs> Do you have uh, any Airbnbs too? Airbnbs? Yeah. Why would I have an Airbnb? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just curious. Like, you don't own any other properties, maybe? Nah, just my house. Um, do you have any cousins that look like you? Why are you asking all these weird questions? I'm just asking questions. I like to get to know, like, who if I'm dating, you know, I have a lot of money and you never can be too sure, you know what I mean? Okay. <sighs> anyway, come here for a second. Are you trying to kiss me already? <laughs> no. Well, I got some hair or something. Oh, mm -hmm. you got a nice little edge up. That's a little weird. No, I just like to make sure I'm in a room, okay? I'm gonna cut the shit. You don't know who I am? Who are you? you? Look at me. I'm not no goddamn Alexis. I'm your baby mama. My baby. My baby. I knew it. You that crazy ass girl my cousin was talking about. Your, your cousin? Yeah, the Mind Drake. The Mind Jones. Mm hmm. So, you the real Daryl Jones? I'm the real Daryl, but that was the Mind Drake. <sighs> Your cousin has been going around pretending to be you, and he got me pregnant. For real? Yes. And I'm 22 hours. You're 22? He told well, me. I was 22, but now I'm like 31. 31. Just let me clear this up because I was confused when he told me. Mm -hmm. How the hell do you know if you're 22 hours pregnant? So it's a long story short, I just keep up with my ovulation so I know exactly when I get pregnant. And now I'm like 31 hours pregnant. And I now know for a fact because I went to the doctor and I told him to do me an ACG test and they gave me that. Oh. Okay. And so it's positive. Oh, I'm, I'm going to let him know. He already know. He, he know? Yeah, so I'm just trying to see who going to give me child support money. You, well, you know what? I'm going to leave and I'm going to call him right now. So we can handle that situation because I can't have you out here just a single mom, you feel me? Right. So because it's your your baby cousin. My baby cousin, baby. Okay. I'm gonna find the mind drain and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna find your baby daddy. Okay. You don't have to pay no family no child support. No, that's that's not my situation, but I'ma get you I'm, I'm gonna get your baby daddy. You sure you don't wanna date me? That's already the mind drains, you know I can't deal with that. We gonna figure this out. Oh, what's your... oh damn, you good? Oh, thought you about to go up. Let me hurry up and get out of here so we can fix all of it. I got you.
wall up in here. Nobody been home, and I know they shut down the NBA. So I end up calling my home girl, do her research. She followed you from the practice, and she saw you come up to this condo. So I came up here. You're crazy as hell. You know that? I'm not crazy. What I am is sick. 
I'm tired, my feet hurt, and I'm pregnant. You know, um, I'm sorry to tell you, but Demandre, he gone. He been gone for a while. He gonna be gone for a long, 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 long time. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. This pregnancy is really, really, like, taking a toll on me and my job. I got fired. You got fired? I kept having to call in because my morning sickness, so I was trying to see if you could just, like, help me out. How many days pregnant are you? I'm 62. 62? Yeah. You can still get an abortion. Okay, cash out me $500 for it. Cash out? Mm-hmm. Say no more. $500. It's cash out. Mm -hmm. K-I-N-I-G-R-A. I ain't got a bank account. I know my name, Brisha, but right. yeah, it's my home girl. I think that's you. Thank you, but I'm not getting no damn abortion. That's gonna go to the rent money for my baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The monitor in the other room. Oh, go get his ass. Yeah, I'm gonna go get go him. Go get him. Go get him. Cause I'm not about to be no deadbeat baby mama and be broke. Oh, psh, you got me all the way messed up. I'm gonna tell you both. <clears throat> you look like you stank. What you want? What you mean what I want? I'm pregnant with your baby. And this is all your damn fault cause you was pretending to be your damn cousin. Remember? And I ain't seen your ass. Man, I'm I've, 62 days pregnant. I've been doing this shit by myself. Man, I told your ass you can't come into my cousin's house. You messing up my cousin Flo, man. It, he gonna he gonna ban your ass from coming here. Well, me and my baby, we've been struggling while you look like you've been doing mighty motherfucking well up in here. Uh, I'm, man, how the hell I'm living the life I'm on my cousin lower bed, man? Whatever, that ain't no damn blow up bed. That look like a California queen. Quit your line. That's that nigga bed. Look, this is what I came to talk to you about. I know you broke and I'm broke, so you need to get Daryl and we need to put his ass on child support. Nigga, how the hell we gonna do that? That's not dumb as hell. It's not dumb as hell, because right now he can be giving me pre-child support before the baby even come. You crazy, man. Hey. Oh, I'm know. crazy? I'm crazy. Yeah, you crazy. Hey, you just trying to get free? I told you we can't be doing this no more. Shut up, fool. What? What you doing? You and Dara got the same mo right there. <laughs> that shit crazy. That's what I said. I said, hey, bro, you got the same one as me. You see, we so close that my aunties had the same thing on their breasts, so we came out on our nipples. Really? Yeah. Go get Daryl. Oh, so you want me to get Daryl? Yeah, go he, he on the phone. No, go get him for me now. All right. Nah, two moles? Mm-mm. 62 days pregnant, but I ain't no goddamn fool. I may be pregnant in her, but I ain't no fool. What's happening? Dara Jones. You just talked to him. What you, the hell are you doing? Go get Demandre. As a matter of fact, get Demandre at the same time. Demandre? Mm-hmm, at the same time. Demandre! He, he on the phone with his mama, and she in jail, so you only get one call a week. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let me just come in. Oh, for what? You know what, Jabron Lames? I just got word he got that corona. You know that new virus thing going around? So it's real contagious. So it's not good for the babies, you know, because I, I might got it. <coughs> I might <coughs> got it right now, and I know it's not good for the baby. <coughs> oh, this shit ain't over. They think I'm stupid? Don't nobody have no same birthmarks. Some is not adding up. Don't know two people have the same damn mold. Now that I think about it, the Mandre have the same tattoos as Daryl too. What am I missing? Victim number Another. They 
just out here hurting us. This the day that I met you. If you was the Mandre, why would you have on the same damn outfit on your Instagram page? No. Not to mention, you put RIP to my cousin, the Mandre Jones. This is the Mandre Jones. Get a fire ass car. It was him at the stove. Hmm. I think I'm pregnant by Daryl Jones. 47 days pregnant by a baller. Natasha, why you ain't answering the phone? Damn, keep clearing me. I got some good news, but first I'm gonna go handle something. Call me back. Dead Demandre Jones. Daryl Jones. Or should I say, my baby daddy. Got your key? Hey! Natasha? Brisha? What you doing here? Come in, I got something to tell you. I got something to tell you too, but first you need to tell me why you at Daryl Jones's house. Okay. Um, me and Daryl Jones sort of kind of been dating. What? How could you? You dating my baby daddy. Your baby daddy? You said you were pregnant by his broke ass cousin. That's what I gotta tell you. But first, I gave you five hundred dollars to get me with Daryl Jones. Remember? Thank you, get a baller. Right, you gave me $500 to hook you up with a baller and it just so happened to be Daryl Jones. <laughs> this makes sense now. It makes sense why you gave me the $500 to get an abortion. No, I gave you the $500 because I was being a friend. What kind of friend sleeps with their friends, baby daddy? I didn't know it was your baby daddy. You said you were pregnant by his cousin. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you. Daryl Jones and Demondre Jones is the same damn person. What? Yeah. Last time I came over here, right, my homegirl did some research and got the address because he wasn't answering the phone or coming up to his home address. Something that you should have been doing because I paid you. But anyway, Demondre and Daryl was here, but they never came out at the same damn time. And then I saw they had the same birth mode. Girl, that sometimes happens, okay? Sometimes siblings or cousins have the same mold. It's like hereditary. No, and they got the same tattoos. Not to mention, I researched the whole damn family tree. I'm talking about from the ancestor to the newborn baby that was born yesterday. And the only Demondre Jones that's there was his cousin that died two years ago. Oh my God. Right. They're the same person. And now that I think about it, I don't know what it means, but when I came to the door last time, his friend, or the, like the teammate, uh, what's his name? Jabron Lane, mm. he was like, oh, this the girl you got a broke nigga test. I think that's a clue, but I can't figure that part out. Oh my God. What? The broke nigga test. They give it to girls before they actually date them to see if they're gold diggers or not. But like I said, it's usually before they take them out on a date. So how did you get pregnant? I got that five five. Girl. But anyway, Daryl Jones, the Mundry Jones, same person. And I'm 52 days pregnant by a baller. Damn, 
I guess I gotta text Jabron Lane's ass back. You definitely do, cause you can't be talking to my baby daddy. Hey, yo, baby! Well, look who it is himself. Mm -hmm. Demondre Jones, so said I say, Daryl Jones. You know, better yet, I'ma call you my rich ass baby daddy. Yeah, nigga. You got some explaining to do. Which one? I'll be right back. <laughs> where you going? Cause we need to talk about where I'ma put the baby room at. The baby? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby. Nice. Don't say hey, baby. Remember, he's my baby daddy. Okay. I can explain. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all a thing of three. It's pronounced ka ni gra Now subscribe. <laughs>